Hey, what's up guys? Adam here. Today I have a video going over all the brand new features in Windows 8 that we learned about today at Microsoft's Build Conference, which Microsoft held for Windows developers. So guys, there was a bunch of new features announced today at Microsoft Build for Windows 8, but briefly before I start off with the new features, I do want to go ahead and go over what Windows 8 is for you guys that have never heard of it. So basically guys, Windows 8 is the next generation operating system for your Windows computers. It's going to work on both desktops, laptops, along with tablets, and there's one operating system for all of this. So it kind of does look like a tablet operating system at first, but it will fully function with a mouse and keyboard, which is something that honestly looks a little bit strange to me. I don't really know if I'm going to like this too much on a desktop, but there is one cool thing, and this is actually that you'll be able to completely go back to the old Windows 7 desktop, and I'll talk about that in just a second. So guys, with Windows 8, which you guys see on screen right now, basically the main new feature with this is the completely redesigned desktop. Desktop now has the Metro UI, and the Metro UI is with Windows Phone 7. So it's basically Windows Phone 7 for the tablet, Windows Phone 7 for the computer. I think it looks pretty nice, and it actually looks pretty intuitive. You can basically scroll side to side, and these are actually live tiles. So the live tiles can change every few seconds. You can move these around. And another cool feature announced today is that you can pinch out on the desktop and completely categorize these applications in different categories. So guys, like I just mentioned, you actually will be able to access Windows 7's desktop through Windows 8 and basically how this is going to work is that there's going to be a dedicated Windows 7 desktop icon in Windows 8 as a live tile which I think is pretty cool and it's great that uh, Microsoft did choose to include this. So guys breaking down all the new features announced today first off there was actually a new Windows Store announced today. So guys basically what the Windows Store is is it's pretty much kind of like the uh, Mac App Store which was announced this year by Apple and this one's for Windows it allows you to purchase and download free along with paid applications for your Windows computer or tablet. Uh, so there's actually going to be two different types of applications in here. There's going to be number one, the Metro style applications. And there's also going to be the classic style Windows applications you've seen on Windows in the past. So guys, moving along to some other new features announced today. First off, we learned that there's going to be a brand new task manager with Windows 8. It's going to work on both the tablet and the computer. And basically, this is going to be pretty similar to the old task manager. So it'll allow you to control your processes, your CPU, your memory usage. But it has a brand new user interface. I think it looks really nice and clean. Next up, there's actually a brand new security lock screen for Windows 8. I think this is really cool and one of the features that I actually want to try out myself. Basically, how this works is instead of just, you know, scrolling up to unlock your Windows 8 computer or tablet, you actually upload a picture. And with this picture, you draw on the picture. And how you drew on that, that's basically going to be how you unlock your uh, tablet. So for example, you upload a picture of, let's just say, a book, and you trace along the four different sides of the books, and you just do it in that one motion from maybe the top to the bottom. And literally, how you unlock your Windows 8 computer or tablet is you just do that once again, and it unlocks it, which I think is pretty cool. So guys, finally, at Microsoft Build today, Microsoft showed off two more things to go along with Windows 8. The first one is the new Internet Explorer 10 for Windows 8. And this will actually work on both the tablet with multi-touch gestures along with, uh, you know, the desktop or the laptop, which is pretty neat. It's just one application. However, on the tablet, there is multi-touch gestures. They also showed off Windows SkyDrive for Windows 8, and this is one of the features I'm really looking forward to. Uh, basically, with Windows 8, it's a little bit more unique than in the past. It actually goes ahead and syncs all your files on your Windows 8 computer, and as long as your computer is on and connected to the internet, you can access these files from anywhere in the world, which I think is pretty cool. So anyways guys, that is Windows 8 and that's what was announced today at Microsoft Build. Let me know what you guys think of Windows 8 so far and I do want to mention this is not nearly done and it probably won't be out until sometime in 2012 as the final result. So anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.